Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D &D Art Gallery and I'm doing a voiceover today for my video. I have here a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I'm not going to put a base coat down today. Today is just a simple flip cup and I've already filled my cup with my leftover paints. Just did the tip. I will list all the paints that I've used in my description. And here you're going to see me, I'm just going to um, poke the top of that uh, paper cup there. That'll allow those paints to flow down better. And I give it a few taps just to help that paint move down. And now I'm, I think I'm going to try and move the paint in a little bit of a circular pattern while I'm burping the paint, just raising the cup a little bit to let a little bit of that paint come out at a time. I really, really like these colors. I can tell you that I do use the Blick Black. And there we, we go, I've got all my paint down now. I am using the mix today and that mix allows a lot of transparency. You can see already a lot of the layers of that paint coming through. So very pretty. The green there is Liquitex Basics Hooker's Green. The yellow is Blick Primary Yellow, and I did add a dab of Amsterdam Reflex Orange to it just to brighten it up a little bit. The mid blue is Liquitex Basics Cerulean Blue. And the real light blue is King Art Sky Blue and Titanium White. Again, I used the mix, seven part mix to one part paint. Thinned it a little bit, not a whole lot. Here I just start the tipping process and I decide, because I didn't put down a base coat, I need a flow extender to help my paints move on this canvas. So this is where I'm laying down that Blick Black. I have plenty of paint left over in that cup that I used for this little 12 by 12 inch canvas. So that would not be an issue at all. Now I'm taking the OXO spatula, it's called, and I'm just spreading out that flow extender paint. Plain old Blick black paint. I hope you all are having a good day and are looking forward to the weekend. Here you see where I'm pushing that paint up using that spatula, just pushing it to the edge of the colored paint. This is actually the paint that I used in my last video, my video number 300. Okay, I have all that black paint spread out now. Time to do some tipping on this canvas. You can see this paint is thicker. Takes a while to run. Just trying to get it over that corner there.
Now I'm going for this corner. And on this painting, I do decide to leave some negative space. I believe I leave some of that black on the edges as negative space. But I may need to correct myself on that. Just filling in that corner there. And now as you can see the it's it's getting harder to move the paint down. It's slowing up a little bit. I guess I did not leave any negative space on this painting. I do apologize for that. Just finishing up my sides here. I'm actually trying to help that paint flow down over that corner at this point Just by adding a little bit more paint. Now I'm working on the composition here, just taking a look at it. And you can see how the mix has left that real uh, cloudy layers like that, yet you can see through them. That's happening with the blues there and a little bit with that yellow. I'm just cleaning my hands off here and taking a look at it see what I want to change or move around and at this point I thought that I could afford to take off some of that green paint so I'm just tipping it down and I apologize for you not really seeing that it's off camera there but that is what I'm doing I'm tipping it down into this corner now. Now I'm bringing it back. You can see I did pull off a lot of that green. Just cleaning the bottoms off there with my hand. I am getting some cells as you can see there's a few there this paint was mixed up a couple days before this pour so there shouldn't be a lot of air bubbles in it doing a little more tilting here With the mix too, the more you tilt, the more you move your paint around on your canvas, the better effects you get. When you pull out your stripes, your ribbons, um, it just really gives a really neat effect. That's what I found out anyway with the mix. Here I'm giving it a quick torch. I'm pretty happy with how this painting turned out, especially with leftover paints. Sometimes 
They make the best paintings. This is a really good uh, beginner acrylic pouring tutorial. This is a really fun pour, just a, just a flip cup. One of the first uh, pours that I did when I first started. You just have to be mindful how you layer your paints in your cup. You don't want to uh, put a couple of colors right next to each other that are going to give you mud. So that's uh, one of the things to be mindful of. I must just be looking at the composition. And here we are for our close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner. Just going down the left-hand side here. Again, this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas. Giving you, trying to give you a little bit of a close up. This is the busiest part of this whole painting is right here. That's the lower left hand side. Just gonna go up the middle now. Here's where those cells are. Real pretty in here. The yellow or the orangey yellow really gave this painting a splash of color there. That's the upper right hand corner. Just going down the right hand side here, down to the bottom. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did and share. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time I do post a new video. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.